Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the tutorial channel. All right, new batch of Kaido House and Mini GT just arrived. I want to run through them together with you guys. Um, we're going like, to start off with... Uh, I'm going to do a list so that you can actually scrub um, according to what you want to see. I'm going to start off with the HKS um, R33 and then I will do the Paris... Uh, sorry, <laughs> Paris Dakar. The Porsche 911 Dakar. New casting and then we'll do the Alfa Romeo F1 um, new casting as well. And then after that, we'll do the Mijo, the Mio exclusives at the back, okay, together with the Chase. So <clears throat> here we go. First will be Kaido House number 129, HKS, the collaboration with HKS Power. This will be their third, as far as I can recall, the third HKS color, official color, the black, green, and um, black, green, purple, and red, okay. This is Kaido House number 129. <clears throat> this is the outer box, similar to the ones before this. The first one is actually the Datsun 510. Then they came up with a fair lady, and this will be the third one, R33. So this is uh back-to-back -back hot item. The previous arrival from Kaidoas was that Civic EF, and that was really very hot. <coughs> and now another hot item. So this is actually a very, very nice packaging, very, very nice uh, HKS colors. Okay, so that's uh, Kaidoas packaging, and then this will be the regular ver regular version. Okay, I do have the Chase version, which I'll show you shortly. Not exactly a new <coughs> casting, this R33. It came out, came out a couple of times already. There is also uh, special releases. But uh, I, I, I never really chase after them <coughs> because, well, I think they'll, uh, as a collector's point of view, I think they're overpriced. I, I don't feel like chasing them because there's just too many of them, too many of the special releases. And uh, each of them are, yeah, too high price for me. So... I, w I am happy enough to be collecting the regular releases. Okay, <clears throat> all right. So th this R thirty three is one of the, uh, in my view, one of the nicer uh, Kaido House castings uh, designs because it it doesn't have a crazy um, crazy fender, crazy flares and stuff like that. So this is more rounded, <clears throat> look more like an extension of the the original stock body rather than an add-on bolt-on additional part to the to the car so this and the uh the civic EF, the civic EF also <clears throat> is very subtle the way it's modified the kaido uh modification so <clears throat> i guess this is one of the reason why this r33 is such a hit okay that <clears throat> quite a few people that i know do actually try to chase after all of its variants okay so <clears throat> engine detail opening hood Okay, very nice. There's carbon fiber detail in there. You can see the purple um, detail in there as well. That's the uh, the support bar, the stabilizer. Okay, so this is actually <clears throat> this is a very very nice engine bay. Okay, you can see the green tilt tinted um, headlamps. Okay, you can see that carbon fiber lip. It's quite big. This uh, carbon fiber by Kaido House. There's a common fiber effect on the pillar here as well. Okay. Then the, on the interior, there's a common fiber dash. There's common fiber detail at the back. Seats are in gray. So it's kind of two-tone. Two-tone interior. Okay. Dip dish. White rims. That's what, right? What is it? Oh, Nishmo. So I think it's a GT. Supposedly, this is a GTLM rim. Okay, the Avan Yokohama tires, because it has the Avan logo on the car as well, HKS logo on the back, kind of house, logos on the side. Okay, green tinted tail, tail lights, muffler detail, HKS number plate, Nissan logo in the middle, GTR logo is there as well. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so this is the regular version. <coughs> now this is the Chase version. So instead of the... Uh, the black, <clears throat> so now you can tell that the base car, the, the base paint is actually black, so no base paint, hence you can see the rest of the parts are all decal. Okay, um, you can see, I want, I want to definitely want to show you this. Check out the engine bay, slightly different from the regular ones because just because of the body color when it's unpainted versus when it's painted black. So the engine bay in this chase version is quite nice as well. You can see that raw metal color. That's nice. So, 
I think this uh, makes it quite nice actually. Okay. All right. Apart from that, everything else looks the same. The interior looks identical. Um, oh, and there's a black base here, black color on the wing at the back. And uh, that kind of tells me that this is actually a separate piece. Probably the, yeah, the pillar is part of the body. This, this wing piece, right, would be a separate piece installed onto that um, support structure on the side. And oh, <clears throat> I want to point out that it's very good that uh, Kaido House has done the carbon fiber effect underneath, okay, even below the spoiler, below the wing, right? Because quite a lot of manufacturers will skip that. They'll just do the top and they'll leave the bottom blank, but not with Kaido House nicely done. Okay, green tinted tail lights with the uh, green tinted headlamps, same as the uh, regular version. Okay, what do you think about this Chase version? What do you think? I think it's not bad. Okay, it's not bad, but uh, the regular HKS colors definitely looks better. <clears throat> okay, so that's the HKS. Then next, I want to cover would be the Mini GT number seven eight zero. <clears throat> this would be the uh, Porsche 911 Dakar Shade Green Metallic. I believe this was scheduled to be released in... When was it? <coughs> August. So this is considered a new casting to me. So delay of two months, that's actually not bad at all. Not bad at all. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Dakar version with the uh, raised um, um, chassis. Okay, it sits much higher than the regular 911s. Seems like it does look like it's a much bigger set of real wheels as well. Okay, with uh, I like how rough it's treaded. It, yeah, the treads looks um, rough, more rough or rougher than the uh, the road going on 911s. Okay, I like that the uh, rear wing. The spoiler is a separate piece, so it looks really very nice as well. 911 Dakar on the plate, Porsche logo done properly. There's a 911 Dakar logo here as well. Okay, check out the taillights, very nice. Detailed under the, the rear diffuser. That's nice. I believe it's probably protection for underneath the car. Okay, same thing with the front. That's um under armor kind of thing <coughs> to protect the car because it's meant to go off-road. Okay, the Porsche logo done very nicely. Okay, and then there's a couple of things, accessories that's uh, on the roof right. The roof right is fixed. You can't remove it. There's some luggage and there's a jerry can as well. I'm not sure what this does look like. It's a that skid, what's called skid pad. No, it's that bridge thing. I don't know. I'm not sure what it's called. Let me know if you do know what it is. Okay, and then. <clears throat> There is the uh, the details on the side square as well. I believe it's extra protection for the undercarriage. Okay, interior is all in black, so you can't see much. So overall, this is actually a very nice casting. Okay, <coughs> nice, <coughs> nice, nice. I do look forward to the off-road Lamborghini as well. Okay, cool. So this is Mini GT number seven eight zero. Then next, I want to show you would be these two new castings as well. Um, in the meantime, help me to hit the like button because that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms, okay? So this Mini GT number 728, <clears throat> which would be Alfa Romeo F1 Team Kick C43, number 24, uh, 2023 Australian GP, driven by Zhou Guan Yu, okay? And then there is Mini GT number 729, for car number 77, which is driven by Valtteri Bottas, 2023, Australian GP as well. <clears throat> so this was scheduled to be released in June. So finally it's out. This is considered a new casting, I believe. <coughs> Unfortunately, I don't have my Red Bull um, RB cars with me. Um, so I do hope to do the comparison later on okay, for you guys. All right, because I believe there's a, there will be a McLaren F1 from Mini GT as well, if I recall correctly. So I'll probably do them in one go. Okay, when we have a couple more different um, variant cars, and then yeah, I'll do it. Okay, and 
Let me know if you want me to do comparison for the uh, tarmac as well. If there's enough comments, let's say five or ten, you know, five comments asking me to do a comparison with the tarmac ones, I can do that as well. Okay, but <clears throat> then again, this, these, the price point is, um, well, it's not half the price of tarmac, but definitely priced lower than the tarmac. So you gotta, yeah, you gotta have the right expectation. We do expect tarmac to have more individual parts. And when they have more individual parts, they should look better. <clears throat> All right. So what I have in my hands is actually car number 24, <coughs> driven by Zhou Guan Yu in 2023. Check out those carbon fiber um, bits and parts on the car. So <clears throat> I think Mini GT, in my opinion, Mini GT does one of the best um, carbon fiber wraps in 64 scale right now. Really very miniature, very small, but not too small that it, it it's, you know, uh, gone. Because these actually, I believe, are their decals, and I believe it requires very, very um, high resolution printing to be able to do this. Because you see, even the small logos underneath here, they're actually considered, I would consider them as um, high quality print. So if you use camera, like you see, you can see that GF Plus, you can see it very clearly. Even though, yeah, I, I, can, I can't see it with my bare eyes. I can only see it through the camera. And it's that kind of level of um, HD printing, high resolution printing that uh, Mini GT is doing. So this is actually very, very nice. So the only <clears throat> somewhat, can I call it a letdown? So of course we know all these front wings, right? They're all individual bits and pieces from the Formula 1 car. But here in 64 scale by Mini GT, it's a single piece front wing. Mm, of course, I understand there's technology limitation in this size, given the price point as well that Mini GT wants to do. So I think this is an okay balance <coughs> to be able to fit the price <coughs> and shrink it down to 64 scale. So I'm looking more towards for collectors like me, who I do off and on follow Formula 1 a little bit, then I get to have um, these F1 cars in my collection. Um, at not too a crazy price okay so i really like the alfa romeo red i can't recall what's the name of this red okay if you like if you if you know let me know in the comment section below i can't i can't recall what's the name of this red there's a there's a name for this uh, alfa romeo red okay and on all their racing cars they always have this clover four leaf clover um i can't recall it's not used by who but it was started from one of their races for um from those days it's for good luck Okay, since then, that clover always appears on all of our Romeo racing cars. That's what I understand. Okay, so this car number, Mini GT number 729. <coughs> then, sorry, that's Mini GT number 728. And now I have Mini GT number 729, driven by Volturi Bottas, car number 77. So everything else does look very similar. Um, so I'll show you the front wing already, right? <coughs> Next would be the, I, I want to show you guys to check out that aerodynamic bits down there really very nice okay, you can see that common fiber undercarriage and the floor oh look at that okay if we go to the rear there's an Italy Italy flag with the Alfa Romeo name okay I believe this part here is different from the Red Bull design so that's why I consider this as a new casting this is one of the common area that uh, the F1 cars will be slightly different from each other. But then again, I need to put them side by side to be able to do comparison. So this too has the driver sitting inside, so you can tell with the uh, the helmet. Okay, Usually the helmet design is unique to each driver. Okay, The carbon fiber rear wing. And as you can see, there's a Singha logo here with on the carbon fiber bit, but on the inner side, there's no carbon fiber. Okay, probably too expensive to do it. All right. Nice, very nice. Thank you. Eh, sorry, that the the undercarriage. Okay. All right. On sticks, I like. I do quite like the rim covers. I can't recall what they call now. Nice. Okay, so that's the <coughs> new casting Alpha Romeo F one. Then. I want to show you guys the Miho that arrived together in this batch. The 901-1963 classic Porsche in signal red. 
<clears throat> I've already opened this one up before, so I won't be opening this one up. So I want to show you guys will be the artwork. Very nice. Showing one of the best view of this car <coughs> from the rear. One of 4,200 pieces. Okay, I don't have the chase version of that. Then next I want to show you will be this guy, Mini GT number 752, the Nissan Z Pandem, the Ikazu Ikazuchi Yellow. Okay, Nissan Z, check out the artwork. 4,800 pieces was made. Okay, all right, and there is the chase version. <clears throat> so the chase version has raw body, and the key difference, the raw body and the <laughs> yellow interior. It's like yellow paint bomb happening there. Okay, rims are the same. Everything else does look identical. Every 24 uh, Mio's um, in this blister packaging, there will be one chase. So they're dialing down on this Miho exclusives. Um, Mini GT will be managing their own blister releases. Um, so I've shown you guys the very first Mini GT's own um, this regular blister release, which would be the um, the, the green, green McLaren. I think that's a 750 Aspire. That one. I've shown you uh, together with Chase, a couple, I think two videos back. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this will be the second... Liberty Walk Kuma variant. First is the Ken Mary. Sec this is second. The card artwork is pretty much the same. <coughs> Car is different. Okay. LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT Dash R version 1. This would be Mini GT number 742. Okay. It just says limited edition. Doesn't say how many was made. Probably a lot. So only the blister version will have the chase. Okay. So this is the chase version, the blue interior with the uh, baby blue rims and the raw body. Okay, so where it used to be blue at the back there, now it's raw. Okay, that's raw. So just a quick update for these um, Liberty Walk cars, right? For the blister version, yep, up until now there is chase versions for it. But moving forward, newer pre-orders, there will not be any more um chase for the liberty walk cars okay but as far as i understand i think usually the liberty walk cars there will be the blister packaging the regular packaging and then they have that um blister liberty walk packaging the one with the black liberty walk card that is usually sold by liberty walk themselves in japan so without a chase that's <laughs> it's a good news for me lesser um you know one item less for me to chase after <laughs> all right so that's it uh i think i covered yep everything for this round of um mini gt drop okay i think i'm hitting episode 50 51 it's pretty crazy how fast this um mini gt and kind house releases come so i mean to hit the like button because that help me out with the youtube algorithms and just a sneak quick sneak peek of what's next Quite a lot of new arrivals. Actually, this is the one that I'm looking forward to show you guys. That is actually from Moto Helix. I gave you a teaser the previous time. The R34 and R35. Okay, that, that is actually event exclusive. And yes, I do have the S2000 as well. All in tuning. So I will try to cover that as soon as I can. Do stay tuned. I do have a couple of things from Cool Art. There, I do have a couple of things from Aurora model. The um, 992 GT3 RS. There's a F40 GTE at the back. That is, um, what is this? The PGM, there's two PGM that I want to show you guys. The R34 with a regular packaging and also the pink Lambo. And then this guy is new. And BMC. Okay, there's two new BMC that just arrived. The car is not here because it's already on display somewhere. I gotta look for it. That's the Supra Top Secret. Okay. And uh, I can't remember what's this. This top art in that rainbow chrome color. So do hit the subscribe button so that I don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Um, what else? I do have a couple of extras of these available through Collectors Cube. They're on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. They do have their own website. You can't stay at night. Do check them out. <laughs> okay? It's a therapy for you. Uh, that's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.